that as a kind of indirect way of collecting information from people without actually being... Let, let them self-select into the place yeah, that they, they want to Yeah, they self-select just as, as part okay. of the site. Okay, so if that's the case, um, and the other way I'm going to assume, Eric, I was just going to ask you, you know, how would you do it in social media? How would you come up with this kind of information from your social media platform? That was, that was my point with this, was uh, that uh, if you segregate the content by the user, then you, you'll instantly know what content they're looking for and who they are and research their content. It's the same with social. This was a Facebook page that stayed in tabs. Tab. Okay. okay, so we were just mincing words. It is kind of the same thing. Sure. Can I follow one of these? Okay, so you know I really need to get a point. And fortunately, I've got one. Let's talk about the top level um, navigation then. So the first thing we're going to suggest is they get rid of the uh, interstitial page, which stops people from going through. I think they will end up with more people staying on site if they get rid of that, and they use other methods to gain their information. So if you want to gain information, if you will, passively, which says, tell us who you are by selecting what you're going to do, let's take a look. Um, you guys have laptops up here? There's only a couple of them? Okay. So you'll be able to see what the top level navigation looks like. First, I'd say that navigation's a little bit small in terms of usability. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I guess Fresh indicates we should be increasing the size of the navigation. Perhaps the navigation belongs a little bit better here right in here. That means we have to move this somewhere else. Let's figure out, what would you say? Yeah? Okay, somebody passed the right uh, yeah. yeah. I think that, that would be a good place on the, on the bottom right or, yeah. Okay, that, so we that put right the navigation here. here. Where should we put the subscription? Back up here? Back down here? All right, put it here? Yeah. The, the there's no more on top, too. No, okay. the so I noticed we have Feed a Child, and we also have Submit here, and we've got, what's this one? Read More. Read More. Okay, so what do you want me to really do? You want me to search, read more, submit, or Feed a Child? You want me to Feed a Child. Exactly. Maybe we can Feed a Child up here, instead of the Learn More stuff. Maybe we can Feed a Child right here. Okay. okay, then we can put the navigation in here, and we can put the subscription in here. Well, that's fine. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So if we do that, navigation becomes much more important to the other. Because this is all picture stuff. One of the things I do, by the way, is make that picture a little bit shorter. This is critical, valuable space. It's known as above the fold. This comes from the concept of newspapers. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of you were talking about above the fold already yesterday, so you probably get that idea. It's what we can see before we scroll. And everybody wants a piece of this real estate. This is the hottest real estate you've got. So, make sure you're using it for exactly what you want to do. What you want to do is not only drill through your website, so put it right in there where your eye kind of really goes, right? but the second thing you have to do is tell them how to self-select. So now let's talk about the navigation. Does anybody want to, here, why don't you uh, have a crack at it, John? What would you put as their navigation? In terms of uh, the kind of uh, uh, groups that you want to send people to. We have our work, donate, um, Really small. I got really bad eyes. <laughs> I actually shrank it in order that we could uh, see more of it from up here. Um, if we're trying, if we're trying to uh, uh, use navigation.